want to talk about my bishop today, Bishop Charles Ellis III, precious. Didn't know him too much as a teenager, but once he became a grown man, yeah. the fine grown man, I, a lot of people just don't realize how humble he is, I guess, because he is a businessman. He is a wonderful preacher, but he's a businessman, but he's really got a good heart. A lot of people just don't realize it, but I, I know for a fact, and I really enjoy serving under him, and there's certain things that he would ask, as I'm even today, be 80 years old next month, cleaning the carpet in the banquet hall and I tell everybody I probably wouldn't do it but I love my bishop and if he wants me to do it I don't have no problem with it and talking about I know we talk about the church but this is probably a little bit of my history when we first came here and this building was opened up I started cleaning the carpet here and they called me the carpet specialist and that they named me that I don't know <laughs> I just try to be good and whatever I do, if, if I'm the specialist in dishwashing, I want to be the best dishwasher that, that, that it is. I'm just using dishwasher. But uh, I did some cleaning because I was a custodian in the Ferndale School District like 20 some years, so I learned how to do it. Things got tight, when I said tight financially, and some of us got laid off. And I can remember that I was told in advance that even though I had been here a long time and was official, if you want to say that, that I was going to get laid out. Wasn't a problem because Charles's father and Charles II, Bishop Charles Ellis III, they had paid me so much money for the cleaning that I had did around here. And I can go back and tell about Deacon Kike once again. He says, Deacon Majors, if it's dirty, just go ahead and clean it. And I'll see that Hardy pays you. And that's the way where the bishop didn't have, never have no problem with it. And I can remember the day that uh, he told me it was laid off. I went to Bishop that day after the meeting. I said, Bishop, I said, your father has paid me so much for cleaning here. And so have you. I said, things are tight. And, and if you got to lay people off, amen. I said, but can I come in on my own and clean the carpet in the back of the hall free? No charge. And he said, you, you do that, Deacon? And I asked the way my pastor was, you do that, Deacon? He said, well, just talk to Martin. And so I talked to Trustee Hardy. And he said, yeah, so... On my own, when I would have time, I'd just come in and go in the bank hall, clean what carpet I could, and just leave. And that went on for a while, and then finally they hired some people to do the carpet where I didn't have to do it, so I just finally kind of eased off. <clears throat> but the point I want to make, we're talking 2016. Trustee Cardi, Hardy called me at home and says, uh, what are you doing, Deacon Majors? I said, no, I I'm retired, just sitting here te looking at television, getting fat. And he said, would you like to clean some carpet? I said, clean some carpet? Now, I keep wanting to remind you that next month I'll be 80, and I've been retired, I'm gonna clean some carpet. So anyway, I talked to him, and he said, well, just come in the banquet hall and get some of the spots up, just come when you wanna and leave you when you want them, but now you've got to understand, trustee could not have me come in unless Bishop Charles H. Ellis III okayed it or approved it. So now here I am, surely a senior citizen, cleaning the carpet in this church again. Now that's the kind of pastor that I've got now. Love him person, and I don't care what nobody say, if they knew him like I know him, and the thing about me, and ministers, the, the, my Bible said they are the watchmen of your soul. So that's all, if, if he's going to be the watchman of my soul, that's all I need him to do. And I can remember when my wife passed, and, and it's really something, you, you always see him as being so serious, but boy, he can really be comical at times. I remember when my wife passed, and he had the funeral, and her, what they called, baby sister, came and she, she was standing there, her, my wife's baby sister was standing with me to walk me down the aisle 
And Bishop come up there and he kind of jumped. And like he was startled. I'm like, oh, girl, you scared me. I thought you was gay. <laughs> that, that's the kind of person that he is, a lover of a person. Praise the Lord. I'm Deacon Majors, Deacon George Majors. Been saved since 1963. Got saved under Bishop David Ellis. My mother was saved, prayed for me, and continued to pray for me until finally the good Lord worked on my heart and I was saved. Uh, been in the ministry since that time. Love my bishop today. Amen.